Hi everyone, this is a video to show off my nail polish collection and also a video response to a DIY nail polish rack video. I saw a video where they made a nail polish rack out of a foam board using a hot glue gun and some duct tape. So I went to Walmart and I bought myself a bunch of black foam board, some black duct tape, and a hot glue gun with lots of glue sticks. I did not film the construction of that because right now I just have my phone camera and it's really hard to do that. Plus I did it at night and the lighting in my room is horrible at night. Um, but if you want to see how it's made and how to do the measurements then go ahead and watch the original video by the original YouTube user. A link to her video is under this video in the description area. Um, the only thing you'll see that I did different from the original poster's design is I added reinforcements up and down the middle because I just felt that that made the uh, the whole shelf going across a lot stronger. So what I did was I secured it to the wall with some wall mounts. Uh, she decorated hers with kind of cute strips of uh, sort of an animal print on the front post here, but I chose to leave mine all black because, I don't know, I just think it makes the colors pop more when the background is black. I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, I'll show you my nail polish collection now. Up here we have my China Glaze colors. So, um, yeah, it's pretty small for the China Glaze section, even though that is my favorite brand. Them and Essie and Sinful Colors. A lot of these I got at a good discount from TJ Maxx, actually, because China Glaze can be pretty costly. This one I got at Sally's Beauty, though. It was really cute. And over here we've got my Essie colors. I only have um, four of them. But, yeah, that's, oh my god, they're such a good brand, really. All four of those I got from TJ Maxx for about $2.99 each, so great deal because they're usually $8, 9 $10 depending where you go. But this is my Sinful Colors collection. Um, I like Sinful Colors because it's a great polish and it's not too expensive. It's about $2.99 a bottle. I usually get it at Walmart. And uh, down here, oh, well, there's one more Sinful Colors one, but then I've got my OPI. Finger Paints, Salon Perfect, and Nina. That's the nude polish I like to use. It's a great one. And over here I've got my Pure Ice colors, which are also very, you know, fair in cost. They're about two bucks a bottle. The one on the end there is actually Glow in the Dark. I got it around Halloween. And this is, uh, you can't see it in there, but it's like a glittery red. I was going to use it to do like a Wizard of Oz theme, you know, the ruby slippers. This is uh, my Sally Hansen shelf, so I have the, uh, hard, a few from the Hard as Nails, which these ones are great, uh, come in this bottle, kind of flat like that. These are excellent for water marble, so it's trying to glaze in sinful colors, honestly. And then the Extreme Wear Hard as Nails, and uh, that's another nude, but it's a darker nude, so it just depends what look I'm going for. Another brand I tend to frequent is the LA Colors because they're usually about 98 cents, a dollar, and uh, over here I've got CoverGirl and Flower, it's a gray and a nude. And down here I have a few random ones like uh, the Maybelline Express Finish. It says dry in 50 seconds or less, so I have two of those. Uh, wet n Wild, these are my two Wet n Wilds. This is a really dark purple. Like it's so dark it's almost black, but you can kind of see that purple shimmer there. It's really pretty. And they have gold. I think everybody should have at least one good straight-up gold in their arsenal. <laughs> NYC, it's just a straight-up red. And then this is Sephora. This is a really pretty, shimmery purple. This is my only Butter London. It was a gift from a co-worker, and I kind of like it. It's like a coppery color. These ones over here, they're really small, but they came in this... Um, it's like a nail dryer. It's a fan that dries your nails. You put your hands in here. But it came in the set here, uh, all these smaller polish bottles. There's uh, some neutrals and some nudes and a white one. Well, kind of a pearl white. Um, those were a gift from my friend Tiffany. And so were these. These were uh, some polishes that... Well, she wasn't too crazy about them because she says they tend to chip and peel real easy, but I know that that can kind of be remedied with a good top coat, actually so it'll seal it in like any other good polish. 
but she didn't seem to want them, so I went ahead and took them. I mean, who am I to turn down polish? <laughs> These are my speckles and shimmers and glitters and my stripers. I have two black stripers, one from Kiss and one from LA Colors, and the other two, white and silver, are from Kiss. That's my Mango Cuticle Oil and my Mango Cuticle Softener. It was a buy one, get one free deal at Sally's, so I did it. These are my top coats and base coats. So I have my out-the-door top coat which I use most often. This is a gel clear top coat. This is a nail treatment by Nail Tech. It helps with damaged nails. Sesh clear base coat. Uh, NYC top coat. Uh, this is big glitter top coat. Big matte top coat for that nice matte effect. And this is, this is the first top coat, like the really good quality top coat I ever tried. Um, Sally Hansen's dries instantly. So I graduated from that to the uh, out the door top coat, which, oh gosh, I love this. Plus there's more of it, so you don't run out so fast. And these little cute ones at the bottom are my novelty nail polishes. This half is the Jelly Bean Jelly Belly nail polish, so it's scented. It smells like different jelly bean flavors. It's really cute. And then these ones over here are Jolly Rancher, so they're also scented. I got these two sets for Christmas. Okay, so that's my nail polish collection for now. Um, if it gets much bigger, I might have to build another one of these. We'll see. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a great day.